I figured since my Sunday vlogs are usually either super, super short or I end up doing a one take, I thought I would start doing a Sunday question vlogs for you guys. Um, basically just me sitting down and actually talking to you guys without any other outside distractions. So I thought I would come in and answer a few of y'all's questions. So just a few minutes ago, I asked via my Facebook if you had any questions that you wanted to ask. So I haven't actually looked at them yet, so I'm a little scared. I might not know the answer <laughs> right off of the top of my head, but let's get started and I'll get better at this as time goes on. But every Sunday I figured it would be good for you guys to get an extra video in addition to the daily vlog, whether it be a one take or whatever. So let's see. First question is from Elizabeth from Facebook. What do you love to do with your kids? Um, anything. <laughs> um, we really like to paint. I've got a ton of paintings over here that we did this week. Um, we really like to go to the park. We like to go on walks. We like to watch movies together. We like to cook together. There's just, there's all kinds of things that we love to do. So basically anything. Let's see. Let's see, I can't pronounce your name, so I'm so sorry, but ZC Vertigo, is that correct? I don't know, but he asked, or she asked, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, the name is very non-gender specific, so I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Um, let's see, when did you start vlogging? Well, I started vlogging, first of all, in like 2009, um, and from about 2009 to the beginning of 2015, I kind of just did sporadic vlogs. Just whenever I had the time, I would throw a vlog up there, it would be about anything. It would be like a product review, it would be a pregnancy update, it would be a baby update, it would be a just let's talk vlog, a day in the life. I did so many different types of vlogs but recently in 2015 this past year January um, well not this past year because it is currently 2015 but in January I decided to start daily vlogging so we've been doing daily vlogs since January um, let's see and the same person also asks do you have friends that you do things with? Um, I do have a few friends. A lot of my friends from high school um, and other friends that I've had over the years have since moved away or they live in different states. Some of them even live in different countries. I have a really good friend who actually lives over in Holland, but we talk to her all the time. Um, and then my best friend actually lives locally. Um, my best friend, Jen, I went to her wedding um, in May. I know some of you guys watched the Texas vlogs, um, but I've actually been best friends with her since kindergarten. So we hang out when we can, but it, it's hard you guys, because I'm, I'm busy. I've got four kids and now she's married and it's just hard to coordinate schedules. But yes, I do. Um, let's see. Kathleen asks, where did you learn to speak Ukrainian? Um, let's see here. She asked, how did you learn to speak Ukrainian? And when Narki, when you say I love you, Narkis, how does he say it back? I hope I read that properly. I hope I did. Um, okay, so Kathleen, <laughs> I learned to speak Ukraine in Ukraine, honestly, and Ukrainian in Ukraine, and I don't speak it very good. I know it sounds like I'm saying things properly and it sounds like I'm really saying something important to the boys, but really I, I know very, very little <laughs> Ukrainian or Russian. Um, I can say like, good boy, good job, do you need to go to the bathroom, yes or no, um, how are you? Um, does something hurt? Um, I love you. Um, you know, I can say those things, but it's really just encouraging and uplifting type of phrases that I can say in Ukrainian. Um, I know random words like chicken, like karitsa is chicken and ulitsa is street. And like, I know some random words, but I can't actually put them in a sentence. So if a, if someone that's actually spoke Russian or Ukrainian were to sit and listen to me, it would be like me saying street, yes, bed, no, <laughs> you know, it would, that's what it would sound like to them. Like it's very broken and it's not complete sentences. So I cannot take credit for knowing, really knowing Ukrainian or Russian. However, we do want to learn it fluently at some point. Um, and the way you say I love you is Ya Lublu Tibia, um, or you can say Lublu, which just means love. And it's spelled L-Y-B-L-U. Maybe I'm wrong. If you're Russian or Ukrainian, please feel free to correct me. Let's see here. 
does Aiden still regurgitate his food? So this is from Francine. Um, does Aiden still regurgitate his food in his mouth? When he sucks on his fingers, his fingers seem to go far back. Yes, he does still regurgitate his food. He does it on a daily basis. However, it's not as bad as it was when he first came home or when he was in the orphanage. When he was in the orphanage, he did it constantly. I mean, there was not a second in the day that he was not regurgitating his food and holding it in his cheeks. However, since being home, and especially in the last six months, he's gotten a lot better at it. Um, he'll really only do it after he's had something to drink. Um, but otherwise, I don't notice him doing it anymore. So, slow improvements. Um, let's see. Morgan asks, will Narkees and Aiden participate in Special Olympics? Um, we didn't have them participate in Special Olympics this past year, just because being outside around a lot of children really overwhelmed Aiden. Um, and Narkees had kind of just been fresh out of surgeries or has been preparing for another surgery. So we just didn't think he or our, his doctor didn't think it was quite safe for him to participate in it. But I don't know, maybe this upcoming spring, um, one of, they would like to do that. So that's definitely something we would like to get them into. Um, let's see, and Kayla asks, can you talk about PCOS? Um, PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome and I do have PCOS and I don't really know what to say about it. I mean, it is what it is. It just basically means that you have cysts on your ovaries that prevent you from ovulating or having a normal cycle. That's basically what it means and it affected us in getting pregnant with Zoe and we had to use fertility medication to get Zoe. However, Piper just sort of happened. So I don't know, it, it can affect it on one hand and then on the other hand it can't. I know if you are a healthy weight, um, it's easier for you to conceive with PCOS, whereas if you're a little bit heavier, it can be a little bit more difficult. I don't know, I don't know a ton of details about it. I just know that I have it and it sucks. Am I saying that right? On, on Jay? I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Um, explain the girls' view on their brothers with special needs. Zoe seemed more okay with it than Piper. I noticed that Piper acts differently in the vlogs. Yes, Piper is definitely my little attention getter if I'm vlogging or if any, or my attention seems to be divided in any way and not focused on her solely. She definitely see, tends to kind of get in my face and be like, mom, me, me, me. And that's just her personality. It's always been Piper. It's just the way she is. Um, and Piper definitely, I don't think either girl has a problem with their special needs. No problem with the fact that they're special needs. The only problems they have with them is that they're, they're, they're brothers, you know? Like, they're siblings. They're gonna fight, they're gonna argue. Um, Narkees and Piper fight a lot. Um, usually over toys, over blocks, over what they're doing, over space on the couch. They just fight, but they fight like normal siblings. It's just normal sibling rivalry. Um, it's nothing really in relation to either boy's special need. Um, they both just accept them, you know, and if people ask about them or if we're out in public and people are staring, you know, they'll either come out and say, you know, well, my brother's blind, you know, or well, he has cerebral palsy, what are you staring at? You know, they're very blunt with it and just matter of fact. Um, and I like that. I like that they just accept it and they don't worry about it. They know that that's exactly how God made them and that's how God intended for them to be. So I love that. Okay, and then I also got a few of you who asked just completely random off the wall questions that aren't really related to special needs or my children or anything at all. But I thought I would go ahead and answer them and I just copied and pasted them and listed them over off to the side so I could answer them really quickly. Um, do you still watch cartoons was one of the questions. Yes, I still watch cartoons. I have kids. Of course, you always watch cartoons if, you're, if you have kids. If not voluntarily, then involuntarily. Um, let's see. What movies could you watch over and over and still love? I don't know if there's any movies that I could watch over and over and still love, but I could definitely watch Gilmore Girls in repeat all day every day and probably never get bored of it. Um, I just love the, I don't know, I love the very unrealistic, um, witty conversation that they have. I know it's not realistic. I know conversations like that don't normally happen organically in conversations <laughs> unless two people are just really in sync and really smart but I really enjoy it. Um, let's see. Do you sing in the car? Yes, I sing in the car, admittingly. Is Christmas stressful? Not really, no. I don't think Christmas is stressful. It can be if you let it be, but if you don't stress about the wrong things, no, it's not stressful. Um, let's see. Do you cut coupons and then never use them? Nope, I don't. <laughs> if I cut coupons, I use them, and but most of the time I don't use coupons at all because I ain't got time for that even though I should make time because it would probably be a little bit helpful. Do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? I don't know. 
usually it depends on how much stuff is actually in our closet and if we can close them or not. <laughs> Reality, guys. Um, let's see. Have you ever stolen a street sign? No. Actually, no. I've never stolen a street sign. <laughs> Let's see, do you always smile for pictures? Yes, because usually if I'm having my picture made, I'm with my family and if I don't smile <laughs> in a family picture, it looks like I'm like some grumpy, just a grumpy mom. I don't know, it just, it doesn't look good. It's not attractive. So yes, I usually will smile in pictures. Um, and if I know they're being taken now, if you're taking like a candid picture of me sitting at the table or something, then no, I'm probably not going to be smiling. Um, let's see. Were you ever a Girl Scout? Yes, I was a Girl Scout. And let's see, have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? This is the last one I'm going to answer. Yes, I've gotten a speeding ticket. I remember when I was 16 years old, I just had my license. I was so excited and I was driving to my friend's house to tell her that I had my license and I got pulled over. First time ever driving solo, like without my mom in the car or anything. And I got pulled over and got a ticket and then I was grounded for a month and couldn't drive at all. So yes, I've had a speeding ticket and I've had many since. <laughs> Not recently though, I haven't had any recently. Anyway, that's all the questions I'm going to answer on today's Q&A and I will see you guys next week. I'm gonna make this a weekly thing. So don't worry if I didn't get to your question or if your question didn't get answered, just ask it again next week and maybe I'll get to it. But I so enjoy talking to you guys and I'll talk to you all next week. Bye guys.